I have um, one of these nightlight watches or, or alarm clocks that project up onto the ceiling with red numbers that tell you the time in the middle of the night. But unfortunately, it's so dim the way it comes stock that, you know, I couldn't see it. And uh, especially, you know, waking up in the middle of the night, you're all blurry. And so at first I was thinking, well, I'm going to take apart that alarm clock and then just change the LED out so that, you know, it just shines up brighter. But then I thought, no, no, that's not the way we do it around here. That I would actually make one completely from scratch from uh, a 50 cent alarm clock that I got at a, a thrift store, a lens that I got for a buck at the thrift store, um, some ultra bright LEDs. So if I switch to the down camera and show you how this guy works. So yeah, if I turn it on, you can, you can see down in there that there's some, uh, some digits displayed. It's, it's not going to show up well. But if we open this up, you can see the mechanics of it, and it's pretty simple to do. So first you rip apart the, uh, the alarm clock, get all the guts out of it. You find a mirror. So there's the mirror. There's the LCD screen. And then uh, I replaced the, uh, the little light bulbs that were doing the illumination from the back side of this with ultra bright blue LEDs so that it would shine through. And I took the polarizer off of the LCD display and I rotated it, flipped it over actually, so that instead of being a positive image, it became an, a negative image. So light only passes through the segments. And the way this works is um, liquid crystal displays have a front conductor and a back conductor for each of the, the segments. And in between those conductors is a special type of crystal that at room temperature is liquid, but it still keeps its crystal properties, which means it polarizes light. So applying voltage to it will align these crystals so that it polarizes one way or another. So that's how this changing of the uh, polarization, you know, how you can invert the, the display. You have to run it through a mirror because the, the lens is going to reverse the image. So, you know, for me being a little dyslexic, that would work all right. But, you know, this is how you would do it normally if you wanted to reverse the image back. You put it in at a 45 degree angle. And that's my really quick night light clock hack.